Alright, so today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite parts of this system. Um, it's in response to some of the folks that have uh, asked questions on some of our other YouTube videos about using red worms. So in traditional hydroponic systems, this isn't always po a possibility. The uh, nutrient solution will probably kill your worms. And uh, they're not necessarily something you want in traditional hydro because they're always kind of consuming these solids and, and and producing solids of their own um, and it's more bio biologically active than most uh, hydro guys really want but um, I'm not saying it's impossible um, especially when you're starting to look at organic hydroponic methods we're talking using manure teas, nutrient teas and uh, the like for your for your production we do aquaponic production so you were using fish waste in, in a solution that we just recirculate constantly and uh, we use red worms in our towers okay so red worms are really awesome they're great at taking um, unavailable nutrients that are tied up in organic solids and organic compounds and consuming them and they're like little bioreactors all the microbes inside their guts uh, basically help mineralize break those solids down oxidize them, mineralize them release them back into the solution and a lot of the time they're almost immediately uh, plant available so the plants can start taking those nutrients up right out of those castings um, if the plants don't take them up they just go right back into the solution and they circulate and they do their thing it's part of the marvelous cycle of life in aquaponics um, so uh, people ask how how do you get red worms in your system well you start by ordering a few red worms online um, and we did that a number of years ago and then uh, we basically put them in worm bins like this and this is really all you need it's just a you know a few Tupperware tubs from Walmart pretty cheap drill some holes in it so they drain drill some holes so there's some good aeration and then just start throwing all of your waste from your system in. and if you're a home or a hobby producer start throwing in all your waste from your kitchen and pretty soon you end up with this nice rich um, kind of mix of uh, great stuff and the nice thing is you can do this inside if you're a home producer it really it doesn't smell and that's the nice thing about vermicompost is if you mix it very nicely if you keep it in good shape uh, you can uh, do this inside without too many issues so uh, you see I've got some really nice rich stuff here and uh, if you notice it's just crawling with worms well, uh, what happens after we kind of have this uh, vermicomposted in these bins is we, we take this media, we take this, uh, this uh, vermicompost basically, and we just plant our seeds into it. So we start our seedlings uh, for our system in these, in, the, uh, in uh, basically like uh, plug trays. So we're growing our seeds, our seedlings in these plug trays, and there's, they're just naturally inoculated with these worms. So when we take those seedlings and we transplant them to our towers uh, the towers are just naturally inoculated with uh, eggs and with uh, the worms just through those plugs um, occasionally when we get in a new batch of towers that need to be cycled this is the hardest part of the system any aquaponic system is cycling it up we'll take red worms we can just add them directly to the tops of the towers as long as they're being irrigated now when the towers are first getting started a lot of the time I think the, the worms probably just crawl right through and get in the system solution but that's not a bad deal either they will clog some of your emitters but those worms will just flow with the system uh, it's aerobic enough that they won't die they won't drown they'll just kind of float right through the system and uh, they'll squirt right back into the tops of the towers typically so we have red worms in all of our towers all through our system and they do a great job at keeping our percolation rates very fast they do a great job at reducing our solids and making a lot of our organic solids, uh, converting those into plant available nutrients. So uh, I highly recommend the use of red worms with towers, especially in aquaponic systems, any kind of media based aquaponic system, red worms are gonna be a huge asset to your system. They're gonna increase your nutrient availability and um, they're just kind of a, another fun little element. Uh, you know, biodiversity in these systems equates with uh, better resiliency better system stability so I encourage it and uh, they're just pretty cool little animals too 
So that's, uh, that's how we get redworms in our system. Thank you.